802 Clear Lake Point over here in Waterford, one of, one of the nicest communities on Lake Kiwi. Great location, only 10 minutes to the Publix, 10 minutes to the uh, Ingalls, getting right into downtown Seneca. So very sought after. And we've got a beautiful house today. This house was actually finished in August of 2020, so a fairly new house, a uh, very new house. And so you'll see that as we go inside because you've got a lot of new new things and kind of a little more of the style that you would see these days. Very nicely landscaped as you can see. But this house is four bedrooms, three and a half baths, finished square feet about 3,600. There's another room downstairs which you'll see. He's got a nice little golf practice area set up in there and it's also got a garage door with access to, you know, with your lawnmower, that type of thing to get outside. That particular room, a little bit over 500 square feet or so, 600. So if you decided to finish that off, you'd be talking about over 4,000 square feet in this house. As you can see behind me, a very nice hardy board siding. We've got architectural shingle roof and uh, again, great layout, open floor plan, nice gentle slope to the uh, dock, which you'll see that when we head to the back, but let's head on inside and take a look. So we come in, we talked about this very open floor plan that you'll see, hardwood floors here in the living room area going into the kitchen, back into the other bedrooms on the back side, got a beautiful light fixture, uh, got the gas fireplace, that is natural gas by the way, so that's nice as well. Smooth ceilings, recessed lighting, all the things you would expect in a newer home like this one. Nice uh, screened in porch here on the back. And this has one of these kind of easy glide systems, uh, you know, where you can have the vinyl there or lift it up and it'll be screened. So if you want to kind of keep more heat in here, you can, and use it year round, you can certainly do that. And come in here, I've got again, open kitchen area. These are quartz countertops. Got gas stove, stainless steel, built in uh, microwave there, dishwasher custom cabinetry come on in here we've got the nice size pantry everybody needs a nice size pantry quick step into here take a quick look you've got laundry room sink this is kind of what i'd call a little bit of an oversized laundry room take a quick peek out here the garage, two-car garage, and you'll also see they do have floored attic space to, for storage so as you can pull that down. That's one thing this house has is a lot of, of uh, storage space, and you'll see that as we get down into the basement area as well. So let's come across to the, we'll start out with the master bedroom. One thing we're showing there, we've got access. There's a side deck where you can see they've got a gas hookup for the outside grill as well, but you've got a nice view down towards the lake, and you'll see as we walk down there, it's a very easy walk down to the water. Come into the master bedroom first, nice glass area here, great view of the lake. They've even got a path going down as you can see. on into the bathroom area we've got separate sinks but two sinks in here for each walk-in closet again the quartz countertops recessed lighting we've got nice trim throughout the house tile floors a little towel closet here and walk-in shower Oil rub bronze looks like for the fixtures. Let's go in. Another nice thing about this home is you've got two bedrooms um, on the main level and two bathrooms. Step into the second bathroom first. Same thing, flooring, tile, countertop, same. Walk in, shower, separate toilet. In the next bedroom here, nice size. Again, another very nice 
uh, room, hardwood floors, walk-in closet as well. And then access certainly from this room straight into the bathroom. All right, let's head downstairs. We'll go down to the lower level, check that out. All right, come on down. We've got a uh, nice concrete floor area here in what I would call the bonus room. You certainly has, they've got it set up, nice big TV. You've got a wet bar area here. Um, access outside, you'll see the hot tub. The hot tub actually goes with the sale of the house. So that's nice to have that, very relaxing. Again, easy walk down to the water, which you'll see here shortly. We talked about the storage space. We'll get, that in, get to that here in a minute, but let's start out with this very large bedroom. Again, nice window view outside down to the lake. Another walk-in closet. King size bed, certainly a nice area for another. If you have uh, another married couple staying, this would be a great room, great suite for them. Again, same type of thing in the bathroom, except this one does have a double sink, tile floors, and the uh, tub shower combo there. Another towel closet here, another closet here behind me, just storage closet. Let's come on in to the um, other second bedroom area. This one, they've got it set up for bunks, for sleeping the grandkids maybe, or your own children, either way. And again, another walk-in closet. So every bedroom, all four, have very nice walk-in closets. And you also see the ceiling fan as well, and again, the view down to the lake. Now, we talked about a lot of nice space in this home that is unfinished that you could certainly use in a number of ways. Um, you can see what they've done here. They've got a nice uh, golf practice set up, but what a great place for, you know, call it a game room. And then also you'll notice here you've got, in this particular area, close to 600 square feet of space down here, Access going outside, they've got a mower to mow the grass, got a golf cart to easily get down to the water, yet you don't necessarily need it. Uh, but again, great room, and you could certainly, you know, finish this off, make it another bunk room or a big game room. I mean, you, there are a number of things you could certainly do with this particular area. And you come in here, again, more storage space under the, or the uh, steps coming down. One thing you'll notice here, Solid concrete walls. Look how wide these are. Uh, very nice setup. You've got the um, hot water heater, heat pump area. And again, this, this room could make a nice uh, shop or again, just storage room. They were planning on leaving the uh, tool chest here, which is certainly nice to have down here. Great worktop on it. Or if you want to make a, if you're into wine and you want to have a wine room, wine cellar, this would make a great spot for that as well. So just a great layout. This layout, uh, I don't think they waste any space in this home whatsoever. And again, I think one of the best things about this property is the location. Again, we're in wonderful Waterford community, has great amenities, super close to town. So let's head on outside and we'll get down to the dock and check that out. Uh, one thing we want to talk about is that it looks like they are going to be able to uh, push this dock out another 10 feet. They have met with Duke Energy, and uh, the, the beginning or the results of that, I think, will be that that will happen, and so that will push that dock out into a little bit deeper water. Uh, there are a few dead trees out there, but those will be removed within the week, I believe. So meet me outside. A beautiful house inside as you can see we come outside we talked about the inside area here again where the doors go you can have access straight from the lake you could take it uh, as you see a cart path going right down to the water got this beautiful grass the zoysia grass I know that because I have that same type of grass at my house and I use a, actually a greens mower to mow it. it makes it look very very nice got a nice covered patio back here as you can see we were standing beside a hot tub 
So that's a nice setup there. And again, not that it's a difficult walk down to the water at all. I mean, heck, I just had total knee replacement three weeks ago and I'm certainly walking down, down this path with no problem. So most people should be able to do this. Get down to the dock. Very nice dock. You got a hardy board, or um, excuse me, um, ironwood, also known as Epe dock, which is high end, kind of guaranteed it doesn't splinter. Got the power in, the whole setup. Got a beautiful cove here too. I love it. It's just a, a nice area that's private. Got good water depth here. Got, you'll see a great place if you got kids, grandchildren, they can just kind of get their floats out here and lay and, and feel very protected. To get out of the main lake, you just go out here and take a left around the corner and do that. So as you can see, we've got a jet ski buoy. You can also add another buoy uh, because you do, are allowed two for a dock. They've got power down here, the whole setup, and you can certainly add a, a lift without having to go through Duke Energy. So wonderful piece of property here um, rip wrap already in place again not a bad walk down to the dock so um, if you have any interest give us a call 800-682-9098 enjoy the aerial view this is a beautiful house we don't expect it to last long Thank you.